lot of people were concerned because the weather was kind of tricky out there. But yes, here are some shots. Of More chances, so though, cool. next year. Two yeah. times next year you can see the blood moon. A little time to wait. Awesome, yeah. Indra. Thanks for that. Yeah. Thanks, everyone else. <laughs> Not a dry eye in the room. <laughs> what a tremendous young lady. And she is uh, showing uh, what often you only see in yourself in the worst of moments. She reminds me of a kid once I met with uh, terminal cancer, and I said, you ever ask her? Now it's a perfect song for this situation. We're back to our heroes. You know that each week we spotlight one of the top 10 CNN heroes of 2014. As you, remember, it's all about you. You get to vote for the one who inspires you the most. At CNN Hero, uniting soldiers from around the world with the animals they adopted while serving. It happens more than you think. Meet Penn Farthing. At the Stand Up for Heroes the other night that Bob Woodruff from ABC does. Uh, and Indra knows as her husband's very involved with this. He's a veteran himself. You're going to hear this word transition mm. more and more. Our fighting men and women, they come back here and it's harder than anyone expects. Just a dog to some people. Never it just isn't. a dog. It isn't for them. And it's not about forsaking the needs of the people on the ground. No. This is something that's done in addition. Yeah. It's a really important mission. It can mean so much. That's I was great. going to address that too. It's not just a dog. If you see this firsthand, the difference it makes with these guys, I've seen it firsthand numerous times. It's literally unbelievable. It will transform them overnight. So nice that they're doing that. Yeah. All right, so just one week left to help your hero become CNN's Hero of the Year. Go to CNNHeroes.com to vote once a day. And how much this can mean to a family. Should have made its way home. Of the Plenty of news going on. Let's get you to the newsroom and Ms. Carol Custom. <laughs> Thank you. The big question today is what is the Senate going to do? And obviously we're inviting the leaders to come on and talk about their positions because there are a lot of complaints, especially coming out of the Senate about this. And the big question is where's the debate? I said earlier, Senator Bob Corker, he's very outspoken in his problems about the plan. He says it doesn't.